The total transformation bug has taken the BT6 community by storm it seems like these past few days and well after some testing it looks like this glitch goes way beyond things that we've seen so far. So first off shout out to GreenCookie56 they posted a video which led to even more testing of this bug and made this video possible. So let me explain how this works. The bug is not really happening with the dart monkey. The dart monkey is just the tower that we happen to use. The bug is actually within the total transformation ability and this is where things get interesting because you can transform not only dart monkeys but you can basically transform all the towers that are monkeys like for example the glue, maybe the sniper, the druid and even the ninjas. So this is how it looks like. Now to start things off, let me just show you guys what happens when you transform the wizard. Now this is where things actually take for a very interesting turn and this is thanks to Green Cookie 56 which was the person that posted this video originally and I'm going to showcase what they did and then I'm going to show you guys what I did with my own testing. So first off, let's place a couple of dartlings and let's see if we even got a link with these guys. I think we're going to get an easy one actually with these ones. Yeah, there we go. There's one. So let's sell everything else and let me show you guys what the point of this is. Now, the wizard is a very special tower and the wizard Lord Phoenix ability is an even more special ability because what happens is for a brief moment while the ability is active there is no wizard tower being present so what you want to do in order to make this bug happen and in order to make what is actually going to be known as permanent abilities yeah I'm not kidding we're gonna get permanent abilities now and what you want to do is you want to buy the wizard lord phoenix and then while it's connected to a dart link in this case we're gonna buy the mad ability so what you do now is you well let me just refresh the cooldowns so we're gonna activate the wizard lord phoenix ability and then while this ability is going you want to use the mad ability now we're gonna wait for the wizard lord phoenix ability to end and when it ends this is going to happen the mat is going to automatically keep using the ability without us having to do anything and this ability is going to last forever and this is how you get permanent abilities now so similarly to the way that we link the dart thing which is basically the same setup that you use with the dart monkeys uh, we can also use it to link a couple of snipers so let's just see i think we got one there's one i see it at the back so we got a link with the sniper and basically well you guys see where i'm going with this so what happens if we actually try and do it with some other tower than the dart link so i'm gonna do it with the sniper and here's what you do you do the exact same thing you buy the wizard lord phoenix ability you upgrade to the elite sniper and then we're going to use the wizard lord phoenix ability and then while this thing is ongoing we're going to use the sniper supply drop ability now what happens now when the wizard lord phoenix ability the ends is well this <laughs> this guy is going to keep dropping supply drop crates forever you guys might ask well there is a three uses per round limit on this ability what happens if you do it in an actual game i tested it and this glitch seems to bypass the three uses per round limit which means that this is an actual working infinite money glitch which is just just the craziest thing that i've seen with this bug but the thing is what you guys are seeing right here just scratches the surface of this bug so let me show you guys what i did next so let me set the stage for this next one. You guys know how when you link a Dark Monkey to a VTSG, all of the millipad upgrades and it looks like actually all of the other ones, they seem to work on the VTSG giving it more attack speed and all these bigger projectiles and everything else. So when you super buff it, that thing goes insane. So what I was thinking of is, well, what if instead of doing the dark monkey, what if I link the super monkey to a sniper? Now the sniper is a very special tower. So let me first off upgrade these things. We're doing it in an actual challenge like this is, we're doing it in the challenge area actually. Uh, because we need the VTSG and not some something else. So let me just buy these guys. So those are gonna be the. Uh, I think we have the primary, the magic. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the Sun Temple, and now let's work on these other upgrades. So for example, maybe we could do the the super mines for the support. We could do maybe this boomer, and then the Inferno Ring from the primary ones. So we could probably do. Let's just do the Ray of Doom for the military ones, and let's do what we're missing. We're missing, missing the magic one, so let me do the Perma Brew plus, I don't know, plus the Metal Path Alchemy. So that should be fine. And then let me get both of these guys on the side, and let's create the Vengeful Choose Song God. Now, I wanted to link the Sniper with the VTSG because the Sniper has something that the Metal Dark Monkey doesn't, and that is extra insane attack speed so i thought what is going to happen if i let's say start upgrading these bottom <laughs> upgrades to the sniper is it going to transfer onto the vtsg so let's see let me upgrade this one the faster firing and boom this thing starts going insane and keep in mind this is only upgrade number one we have four upgrades to go and then we're gonna cross pad it as well so let's get the even faster firing and 
of course this thing goes bananas and starts attacking super fast and so i thought what is going to happen when we upgrade the semi-auto which is actually a fast attacking tower to the vtsg is the bonus going to carry over let me actually just give this guy <laughs> camera detection because there's some DDTs being annoying so let's upgrade the semi-auto while it's linked to the vtsg and see what happens yeah it, it seems to be getting the attack speed <laughs> and it seems to be attacking like crazy and to me it looks like this is a lot better than the plasma monkey fan club so let me just do this before upgrading the rest of them let's just go with like 70 percent we might even need to go lower than this one actually now what happens when you cross pad it so when you do the night vision goggles it looks like these projectiles their number just goes insane and when you get the shrapnel shot, it even goes crazier. And I have no idea what's happening where it's 70% and this is not even a fully upgraded sniper. So let me let me actually remove this thing. Let me just go with like 30% and let's buy the... Well, first off, let's get the full auto rifle and look at what's happening on the map. I'm pretty sure that the VTSG is currently having the same attack speed as the full auto sniper is. And that's the thing. We haven't even gotten to Elite Defender yet. So let me buy the... <laughs> as soon as this round ends, let me buy the elite defender and let's see what's gonna happen okay so round 204 let's upgrade the elite defender which fires super fast and even faster the further the balloons are along the track now i'm not sure if the passive buff works on this thing but the insane attack speed that the elite defender has i'm pretty sure it does and keep in mind <laughs> i mean look at this thing this is insane guys this should not be happening in the game like we're around 204 and let me just get the range oh it actually has global range we're at round 204 and this thing is doing so much damage that we can't even see the balloons come out. It's that good and I'm pretty sure that we're looking at the VTSG that has the attack speed of an elite defender. And even though we just did this thing with the VTSG and the elite defender, we're not done yet because I have one more thing to show you guys. Lastly, I wanted to know what happens when you link a super monkey with another super monkey. And you guys might be realizing where I'm going with this. So let's make this guy the vengeful true sun god first. So let's see what's going to be happening if we make this guy a sun temple. So this is probably the most powerful tower in the game, the VTSG. So what happens if we make a sun temple linked to the VTSG? Is the VTSG going to get all the bonuses, all the buffs that the temple itself is getting? So first off, let's just see how this thing looks like. Well, it's a normal, it's just the VTSG, nothing special. And let me, let's upgrade the laser blast and see what happens. Well, the primary attack, well, it actually looks like everything gets a lot stronger, which is to be expected. Let me just give it camo detection because we don't have camo again. Now, what's going to happen if we give it plasma blast? Well, the projectile becomes even stronger. If we do the sun avatar, it obviously, everything else becomes even stronger. So let me just, let's just do the same thing because this is getting a little bit too much with these projectiles. So let's go at 50%. I think that's, that's the way that we can see everything. And let's finally upgrade this guy to the sun temple and see if, all of these buffs are gonna get carried over let's do a let's do what was it? that was the magic one so let's do let's do a support temple actually so let's do it like this that should be is that over 50k i'm not sure let me just buy like like this thing as well so that's the magic that's the support one so let me do primary ones like this and let's upgrade this guy to the temple now this guy the vtsg disappears for a second as well but the link is still there so when we hit play is this thing gonna go bananas <laughs> yes it is it absolutely is gonna go but as because it seems like somehow some way these upgrades they get carried over in in some capacity to the vtsg and this thing i'm not sure if this is better than the elite defender just because the elite defender is a lot more attack speed but yeah the game crashes that's exactly what happens i feel like this thing the fact that you can transform and the, the fact that we now know the total transformation bug is actually tied to the total transformation not the dark monkeys the fact that you can transform a bunch of towers and then these smaller upgrades that these towers have carry over to the link tower it just opens so many more possibilities that i feel like there's just so many things to go through it's like three paths for each tower and then you can link it with a bunch of different towers and i feel like we've barely started scratching the surface of this buck i'm not sure what carries over like is it only the attack speed is it only the damage and stuff like that but i'm going to leave the rest of the testing to you guys because there's just no way for me to test myself all of these towers and all of these cross pets and how they react to each other so with that being said thank you so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it this bug has been the best thing that's ever happened in bt6 i mean this is this is just so much fun to play around with this is just well as as long as it lasts because i feel like this thing is getting patched very soon so with that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one